through many of these cycles you know where you have uh, a, a you know a patches of panic and then once again you see a swift recovery how different is this time from 2008 i don't mean to compare it in the sense of you know a major crisis but this time there's so many uncertainties at least in 2008 we had one one swoop of a fall and we knew the reasons for that but now no one seems to know how bad the chinese situation can get so how do you wade through a patch like this see if you look at indian macro i think it's in the it's in the best shape that i can think of look at fiscal deficit current account deficit and inflation so i think uh, if you start worrying about every problem in every part of the world uh, then uh, you will never be able to invest in equity market uh, till it becomes 25 pe so when the market is 25 pe i think at that point of time everything will be looking good uh, every economic data maybe will be looking good so uh, through this period of looking at markets i've seen that the best times to invest in equity is when there is pessimism when past returns are bad and uh, when i see a little bit of panic and uh, i see that today uh, not in the domestic uh, market thankfully but in the global uh, investors behavior so just think about it at the years low you see fir selling at this point of time when crude is so low inflation is coming down there's potential for interest rate drops and at that point of time we are seeing selling from fir is that an opportunity for the domestic investor certainly so our view has been that and uh, what i have seen is uh, it is years like 2007 where i worry about uh in years like 2008 i think are opportunities for investors and the current correction is again an opportunity for investor and uh, if you keep waiting for all the problems to get resolved then i don't think uh, equity investing is not about investing when everything is perfect in fact we did some work and found out that the best time to invest in equities is when industrial production growth is very low fiscal deficit is very high and credit growth is very low and uh, the worst time the, the best time to take out money from equities is when credit growth is very high fiscal deficit is very low and industrial production growth is very high so why this works is because uh, equities as an asset class you have to invest into problems and uh, take out money when everything is all right that's a model which works and uh, so that's why for us uh, this co- correction at this point of time we see it as an opportunity uh, we believed in volatility right through now we think with this correction there is scope for investing more aggressively rather than less aggressively is this a risk given given the fact that the domestic mutual funds are sitting on very low cash levels uh, are almost fully invested and so far you know the the flows are supporting the, the domestic flows are supporting the market what if because of this global panic we we start seeing you know redemption pressure or slow down in domestic funds as well would that be a bit of a big risk to the market going forward see i think number one is uh, equities is a riskier asset class than fixed income uh, i spent the better part of the last one year explaining to people that uh, debt mutual funds uh like uh, the short term uh, varieties are very uh are much safer than equities uh, over the last one year people have tended to believe that equities is a not a risky asset class so i think uh, the cur- current correction has uh, possibly will get people to realizing that uh, debt debt is a safer asset class than equities having said that i think uh, you know uh, for example if you take i say say mutual fund as a house uh, we do have strategies uh, where uh, we do have uh, we do keep cash when the markets uh, valuations are higher so in those strategies we do get an opportunity to keep buying as the market goes down uh, it is true that given the quantum of fii investment which exists if every day fii keeps selling the market will come down but uh, i would say that if the market keeps coming down it means more opportunity for you and uh, as such you know uh, investing at uh, possibly the years low point is uh, adds to some margin of safety i uh, i believe as part of investing investing uh, when the market is at a 52 week low 
is much safer than investing when the market is at 52 week high so i uh, from my framework i find that market is possibly a safer place to invest today because implied assumptions are lower than what it was when the market touched nearly 30000 this year so i would say the market is uh, more safe now and i believe that equities as an asset class will be volatile and to make the best money in the asset class is uh, when you buy in panic and sell in euphoria and uh, i do agree that uh, maybe every day if fis keeps selling markets may come down but i don't worry about it i see every day it falls if it falls i think that adds to the opportunity for people who are under invested so i see these as opportunities and i don't get too worried about them when they fall because i think it adds to the merit of the asset class and it doesn't reduce the merit of the asset class you would all agree that uh, you know the with oil being what it is india's macro is possibly never never been better and uh, you would agree that you know it is uh, it can lead to big interest rate drops over a period of time which can actually reduce the cost of capital for indian industry uh leading to a good uh, potential return having said that i do believe debt mutual funds are very very attractive at this point of time because uh, you are in a deflationary environment and in a deflationary environment uh, debt has proved to be the best asset class everywhere in the world so i would always uh, believe that in a deflationary environment people should also consider investing in debt mutual funds you have recently increased your exposure in the banking space in fact in your dynamic plan banks form almost 20% of your portfolio uh, within banks what looks like the more lucrative uh, opportunity is it private banks or would you now start looking at psus i think clearly our uh, retail oriented uh, banks are uh, possibly best positioned in the near term given that the corporate capex cycle seems to be delayed and uh, you are not seeing a high increase in credit growth to corporate india so maybe in the near term uh, we have been believers in sectors like retail oriented banks and uh, uh financial services companies focused on uh, insurance and uh, those kind of things at this point of time the recent uh, indra dhanush uh, announcement uh, could mean that you know over a period of time psu banks may also emerge as uh, attractive investments uh having said that i think in the near term we would want to see the npls in the sector go down and uh, credit growth to pick up so i would say that banking looks interesting from a long term point of view that has done reasonably well uh, especially uh, given the way we have seen global markets at least that's one market which has remained quite stable over the last week or so uh, how much percentage of uh, you know portfolio would you now you know suggest investing in debt and how much in equities from current levels see these are uh, numbers uh, which are difficult to answer but you know i have been telling people i uh, i have been telling our distributors that each of them should actually build a sizable portfolio in debt mutual funds given that in a deflationary environment uh, everywhere in the world debt has proved to be an outstanding asset class to uh, you know uh, the problem is that in the recent past except after this correction equities were always giving you double digit returns so people were very reluctant to consider uh, debt mutual funds but i think uh, you know it is Im- very important that uh, investors have money in debt mutual funds equity mutual funds and uh, balance kind of funds uh in their portfolio because i think only if you have a balanced portfolio involving debt equity and balance do you have comfort so you know if you see the deep market cuts we have seen in equities over the last one week if you had only an equity oriented portfolio the losses would have been reasonably significant so we advocate an asset allocation framework involving debt mutual funds equity mutual funds and balance funds for long term investment All right Narendra we leave it at that thank you for staying with us for a while and through Thank this you. market mayhem